created your project, now you want to add a voiceover to explain or clarify points on the master video track or on the pip tracks. To do this, click on the voiceover recording room. In the voiceover recording room, click on device. The audio setup box opens. If you have more than one audio device, click on the down arrow and select the appropriate device to use. Same with audio input, click on the down arrow and select the device you might wish to use. You can adjust the volume here or you can adjust it on the main slider here. Then click OK. Click on Profile. The Profile Setup box opens. If you have more than one format available to you, this will be shown when you click on the down arrow. Click on the down arrow of Attributes for a complete list of available sample and bit rates. Select an appropriate attribute. The higher the sample rate, the better the quality of the audio. If you want a scratchy effect audio, then you would choose a much lower sample rate. You can save the format and attributes configurations by clicking on Save As. Save this format as and type in a name. Click OK. And your save template now appears here. Then click OK. Click on Options. The Recording Options box opens. Here you can set a time limit. If you click on, then you can put in hours, minutes, or seconds that you wish the recording to last for. You can add a three second delay before recording, auto fade in, auto fade out, then click OK. We are now ready to commence a voice recording. Move the cursor to the point where you would like to begin your voice recording, then click Record. Your voiceover is then recorded and placed in the voice track. When you have completed your voiceover, you can click Stop. Your voiceover is now displayed in the voice track. To adjust the audio sound levels in each track, click on Audio Mixing Room. The Audio Mixing Room and Timeline is the subject of a separate tutorial.